that's gonna be the thumbnail. We're not showing that. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna show you guys my day in the lab, so off we go. Say hi to the vlog. Wait, there's no light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, what are these? <laughs> what are these called? Fume cupboards. Okay, these are the fume cupboards. And I'm in lab now, guys. That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> the lighting is kind of bad in here but I'm gonna show you guys um, one of my friend's projects because I'm taking part in her project first and then I'm gonna do my projects after okay so I'm testing uh, skin bacteria of your armpit and your upper back um, and the effects of exercise and antiseptic showers so like your dental shower gel and seeing the difference between bacteria growth. So right now I'm going to take the swab of Fadzi's armpit. Whoa, <laughs> we're not showing that. <laughs> and um, her back and then just put them in this because it helps to keep the bacteria just swimming free. Yes. yes. She's running now. She wasn't <laughs> running before, and this is her experiment. <laughs> okay, so for my experiment, I'm gonna be taking blood samples from male participants, and I've given them supplements to take, and then the supplements are supposed to increase their antioxidant levels but decrease their cholesterol and stuff so I just take finger prick samples and then analyze them so this is the machine that I use and the strips are in here which ones do I use so I use this one to do the initial check which I should probably do now to test if the machine's working And then I take this one for total cholesterol to wait for it to finish warming up and then I can do the test strip. I've just put this strip in but forgot to record it. Basically you take the strip out of there, open the flap, put it in and then it does the reading so you get your results pretty quickly. So the results are out. If you want to print them, you just press this button and then they start printing. So those are the results. And then you have to check them against the numbers here. So, so yeah, I can see that they're in range. So that means the machine's working fine. And now I can start my experiment. Are you ready? I would guess so. Okay. My hands 
feeling quite funny. Okay, so the first thing is the cholesterol strips. So you just remove like the little foil on it. So you prick it a little bit to the side because if you prick the middle then it hurts. Yeah, it works. Fadzi's going to be drinking all this later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your thumb actually bleeds very well. Imagine what his toes would be like. <laughs> what was your thing about toes, man? I don't know, man. So I've put my samples in the centrifuge and just let it spin for 10 minutes. And I'm going to extract the blood plasma from, from it and then put it on an Eppendorf tube for freezing. You have like the blood cells and stuff left at the bottom and that just goes in the bio bin. So I've got my samples from the freezer and I just need to add my other samples that I collected today into this container and then they'll be frozen over the Christmas holiday and then when I come back I'll do my chemical assays and stuff. to visit my scientist friends. Hi guys, I am going to be seeding 296 well plates with the seeding density of 5000 with CACO2 TC7 cells. Yes, hit yes. them with the terminology. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing is I've made um, a small suspension of concentrated cells of TC7 cells and I'm taking 50 microliters and then I'm going to do a hemocytometer cell count on them. Throw this. Get 50 of that. Get my bat. Get my bat. <laughs> Get my cells. Put that in. Mix it up and down. Wait, where are your cells? They they were already in there. Oh. So I'm adding 50 microliters of each, which will give it a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to do a cell count, and how you do a cell count on these is you put these um, little rectangles and within them are tiny little microscopic lines and mm -hmm. then you put your cells in them and then with, within the grid you count how many cells there are. Do you think you can see through the... Oh yeah, you can. You can? It's those dots. Wait, oh my no. god. Wait, those are keep it cells. there. That's the grid I'm talking about. Some more there. Uh, I'm a scientist, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm done for the day and I'm heading home now to edit this video and it should be with you guys soon.